an audio only recording of an exercise session for Vision of Adventure. This recording is supported by Disability Rights UK, a cycle session led by Kath Finn. Please note that you will need some form of stationary bike with controllable resistance for this session. Um, right, we're now just kind of going into our two minutes of medium warm up, but we'll do another minute of easy in a minute because we've got a few people just come in. So evening, everyone. There, we've got another happy evening session. We've got a little bit of hard, but not too much. And then we've got blocks of three medium followed by three minutes of hard. And we've got three of those. So it's an intensive endurance session. And then we've got some overgear efforts at the end. Um, so just settle in. It's nice to have Linda. That's fantastic. Well done. And settle down after for some of us a lovely sunny day i hope you've got out liz in the sunshine yay good yeah i've done really badly i got as far as falling asleep in the sun in the conservatory and that was about it so um and i i had conversation with my coach today i had a terrible run this morning and he went oh, what do you think you had a bad run i was like i think i killed myself off at kettlebells last night and he goes well possibly but it could be the accumulated six hours and two days you've just done i was like oh yes <laughs> and then i gave blood and i did feel a little bit odd after that um and I'm supposed to be running with a friend tomorrow on the fell, so I have wonder it's likely to be slow. Because it takes ages to recover from giving blood. Like real proper, getting your iron up again. So we'll just have to see. But I've had a good few weeks of doing quite a lot and managing reasonably all right. I've just looked at a race entry and I can't find myself in the list. And I'm absolutely sure I've paid. So I need to do some investigating. They sent my email to Paddy. But of course, he hasn't forwarded it to me. So it's now lost somewhere in the midst of his emails. Oh, well, never mind. And I had this good idea that I could do a sprint duathlon in the morning and then a standard one in the afternoon. So that's what we're going to do. The sprint one's the important one and then we'll practice recovery and see whether I can make my legs work in the afternoon. Uh, Oh, Steve, have you been out in the weather today? Yay. No ice? Well, you obviously missed the ice because you're still in one piece and you're upright. So that's good. All right, we're just talking about Diane's possible New York marathon or not, as the case may be. It's hugely difficult to make a decision like that, but hats off to you for thinking your way through it that well. So a little bit harder, please, for another two minutes. And then we'll go back down to easy. So we've got yeah, pretty gradual warm up actually. Try that. Oh, I've lost Linda's arm. I'm sure she's there. Oh, yes. Coming back, well done. Oh, it's great because I was really cheered to see you on last week and then you disappeared and I didn't know what had happened. One more minute like this. 
and it should be reasonably hard. It's kind of warm up hard, so it's not end of the world. But definitely enough to make you feel like you're working. Lovely. A little bit more like that. Then knock it back a bit. So make it a bit easier. And you should be beginning to feel if you've been with us from the beginning that your body's starting to warm up enough to go for a reasonable cadence. That's it. I can see people's legs moving a bit faster, heads bobbing a bit faster. So that's nice. Lovely. I'm just having a bit of a scout round at this end for places to deliver stuff for Ukrainian refugees. And there's a few people driving out to Poland because they've got their work hire, really. And it's really desperately sad. I don't know what, quite what's going to happen next. I know it's not directly to do with them, but we've just had the electricity bill and the warning it's going up by 50% in April, as we, it was forewarned by the government. Ukraine and Russia have most of the, well, a large percentage of wheat production for bread in Europe, so that might get interesting. So it's a great life, at least the daffodils are out. So we'll reground in daffodils. Right, we're going up again to medium. From now, ideally. So just pick up the resistance a little bit. Remember to think about good form. So you're thinking about the four sections of your pedaling. So you're pushing your foot across the top of the stroke and then following that by pushing it down hard using your glutes and your quads. And then a little pull along the bottom, like scraping mud off the bottom of your shoe. And then a nice easy lift up the back before you come putting effort into driving forwards. And we'll just focus on one leg. So in a minute, or in 10 seconds actually, give you the countdown. So think about your right leg from now. So you're really thinking about what you're doing with your right leg. Keep the rest of your body still, apart from your left leg, which needs to move. But keep your upper body still and really think about your technique on that right leg. I always start with the right, I'll start with the left next time. Now swap your thinking over, so now think about your left leg, because it does make a difference to the amount of force you put through. Great. Okay, get ready to put your resistance up a little bit. Keep a nice good cadence that we've got. 
And now put it up to a harder resistance. This is the last two minutes of your warm up. So this should be beginning to make you warm. Should be causing a little bit of shortness of breath now, not drastic, but you know, just so you know you're working. And just spend this last bit thinking about that left leg this time. We'll start with the left leg for half a minute. Really focus on that good technique. Upper body still, left leg driving forwards, pushing down. So the place where people lose most energy is because they don't drive across the top of the pedal stroke. So they only really put pressure on and the pedal's at about two o'clock, by which stage it's all a bit late. And now think about your right one for the last half a minute. That's great. And keep the high cadence, take the resistance off. I'm just going to do a minute like this, then we're going to do 30 seconds hard, 30 seconds easy, times five. So the hard is your own cadence and it might need to be quite fast. You might want to put a bit more resistance on. You've got another half a minute to think about it. When I was writing this, comparing it, and I know, 30 seconds rest will be enough. I'm sure they can cope with this. Don't need any more. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one. 30 seconds hard. That's brilliant. Remember, you've got five of them, so measure your effort. Linda, if you've not been on for a while, don't go too, uh, too far. Measure that effort for the whole hour. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Thirty seconds easy. Just keep your legs moving, take the resistance off. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and thirty seconds hard. Halfway there, well done. Another fifteen to go. And three, two, one, half a minute easy. Drop the resistance, try and keep your cadence at this point at about 90 on the rest ones. But really low resistance. Ready, three, two, one 
fast. Fast and hard. This is your halfway point. This is your third one. Lovely. Ten seconds left. Well done, folks. Three, two, one. Thirty seconds easy. Five seconds left. Going faster as we get nearer the end. Three, two, one, go. Number four. Excellent. Halfway through it. Three, two, one. Relax for half a minute. Nice job. 30 seconds sounds so easy. And then when you do it at a high resistance, it's actually it's not. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and go. Lovely. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. And relax. Still get quite a high cadence though. Get a drink if you need one. And we're going to do three minutes of medium and then three minutes of hard. So it's a bit of a resistance set. Okay. Mm, I've lost a head, I'm just making sure. Ah, we're good. Okay. All right, medium resistance that you can hold for three minutes and then you're still able to put it up and do another three minutes and something harder. And we've started. It's good to have a cadence of 90 because that's, you can aim for that on the road, you very rarely hit it because you're coasting and there's potholes and you go around corners and go up hills which slows your cadence. I haven't got any good adventures for a while. Been running tomorrow with somebody up in North Lakes. A great mountain bike last Thursday, actually. A bit hard though. I've got still got a big hole in my shin, where I managed to run into my own pedal, which didn't do me any good at all. But we went right into the lakes. Had to carry. And I'm not a very good mountain biker. So I tried to get off quite a lot, but we could watch the hailstorms coming across the top fells and then they blow over and you just see this scattering of white on the top of Helvellyn. And the lake, you could hear the wind and see the ripples and then the waves on the lake, it picked up and dropped, picked up and dropped. Um, 
So it was really impressive. And I had a great time. And then I got home and was like, oh my God, it's so cold out there. No, I've just done three hours out there and haven't even really noticed. Uh, that was good. I went with a friend, which is always nice. Wouldn't have been that brave on my own. I need a bit of moral support. <laughs> Two minutes done. I think this weekend looks quite tame. It looks like a, a road ride. And I've just learned to know breathe through my nose. It's only taken me like four years. I'm a slow learner, me. Half a minute left. That's this week's great triumph. Okay, preparing to make that a little bit harder for the same length of time. Three, two, one. And another three minutes, but a harder effort. Nose breathing, as in breathing with your mouth shut. So breathing in and out through your nose. It's apparently really good for lots of reasons. So it, it warms the air, especially through the winter, and it takes some of the particles and viruses, not viruses, but particles out, they get trapped in your nose. So it's better for your lungs. It accesses your parasympathetic nervous system. So it accesses the calm side, reduces the release of cortisol, uh, which is great. So it means it takes less effort to do things. So it's more efficient. So you've got more energy left, supposedly. Two more minutes at this. And Paddy is the world's best nose breather, partly because his nose is a lot bigger than mine. But, and he's always going, oh, it's really easy. Why can't you do it? I don't know. I uh, worked out partly because I was quite a serious asthmatic as a kid. So the security of feeling air going in through my mouth and the fact that I can really feel it hitting my airways is like what was quite important. And I also used to breathe very high, breathe through my shoulders rather than through my diaphragm because that's what you did when you go and breathe. And in those days, no one was around to go, ooh, think about it like this. So I'm laying ghosts, which is good. Okay, you've only got 45 seconds left. And then you get 30 seconds rest. Before you do it again. So I just need to remember not to nose breathe when I'm trying to guide because inevitably you can't speak and that's kind of a bit crucial really. Okay, three, two, one. Got half a minute. So keep moving, but if you want a quick drink, reset yourself. Also, oh, five seconds. Three, two, one. Back to medium effort. Excellent. 
And the guy in the cycle studio down the road has got a new app that measures whether he's working aerobically, so he's not producing too much lactate, by measuring the difference in between in individual heart rate beats. So it's pretty cool. But he's, he's amazing about investigating things. So they wore sugar monitors for ages to see whether that would improve their performance and what, what their sugar levels were doing. Um, so what are the carbohydrate use? We obviously didn't like that much because that's disappeared. We now wear oxygen monitors that measure how much oxygen we've got in our muscles and whether we're using it or not. I don't. I carry loads, but I don't bother using it. Uh, so he wants me to go work really, 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 really hard to make my body use it. Oh, my little body's falling apart as it is. I'm not going to go and do that. And now he's got this one for measuring your aerobic effort. So I've learned shed loads from him. Okay, you're halfway through this medium bit. You've done a minute and a half. But you can definitely get over teched if you start using too many measuring things. It's definitely a thing. The best questions are still, how are you feeling? How hard did you find that? How did it go? One more minute. And I've just started the last bit of my level three British cycling cycle coach stuff. So I have to write about a rider for the next seven weeks and I'll be done. Hooray! And that, I think, makes me the only female cycling coach in the northwest of England. That level. Woo! -woo. So that's cool. I need more girlies. With got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and make it harder. So this is a hard three minutes. I don't think there's that many male cycle coaches in the Northwest either, but there's definitely very few females. Because we're quite rare, there's a little band of us nationally who speak once a month. And that's really good because you can ask all the questions that you want answered and some of them are just amazingly experienced. And it's just such a relief to be able to ask things, not feel stupid and get an answer. Two more minutes, a third of the way through this bit. Nice. And this should be a little bit hard to hang on to. Should feel like you're having to try. And then we're going to give you a pyramid dance. We're going to have 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to do two minutes to each and then one minute.
Half a minute to go. So keep that cadence, keep the same resistance, really work at it, really force those legs. Keep focusing, make your glutes work. Keep that momentum just for 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, 30 seconds rest. And then we'll do two minutes medium, two minutes hard. Okay, ready to go again? Three, two, one. Two minutes medium work. Halfway through the first one, first minute. Another minute to do. That's looking good. Half a minute left. Before we make it harder. I haven't forgotten the next two minutes. Sorry. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And put that resistance up. Half a minute. Lovely. One more minute left. Last minute of hard, and then you get 30 seconds. And then we're just gonna do a little minute of each. Remember originally we were thinking about really making sure that each pedal stroke really works for us. Brilliant, 10 seconds, your last 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. 
Three, two, one. 30 seconds relaxing, and then we'll do one minute of each. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Medium for a minute. Twenty five per cent. Halfway through. Fifteen seconds, and then we go harder. Three, two, one. Resistance up that last minute. Well done. Halfway through. Brilliant, last 15 seconds. Lovely. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay, we'll take a minute or so here. Take a little bit of time. You can relax properly. Get a towel if you need, have a drink, stand up, move around, bike if you need to. And the next little bit we're going to do is some overgeared efforts. So that's when we slow the resist the cadence right down to about 60. Which I'm just trying to find for you. And I've pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's exciting. You might have to guess at 60 at this rate. I'm going to do that for two minutes. So you want a high resistance. You want to be really pushing. Right. I don't know what I've done there. So you've had more than enough rest. So twenty fifteen. We'll try for two minutes from now. Slow your resistance right down. I'm just trying to find. Slow your resistance, slow your cadence. Uh, 
And I apologize for the fact you're having to find your own. But it should be about two thirds as fast as before. We've done it before. So lots of effort going through your muscles, really slow, high resistance. So it should feel completely different. I'm also still trying to find you a metronome that's decided to work. And 10 seconds left at this, then you get 30 seconds to relax. Three, two, one. So 30 seconds of just taking the resistance off, allowing yourself to chill out. And then I've now got the clock and the metronome on the same place. And we'll go again for two minutes. Ooh. Hey, there's a variation. Well, I have to play with that, but that's probably about the right speed. It says 62, but it's just got an interesting little variation on the ding, ding. And we want two minutes at that. Now, can I get it to keep going? Ooh. Now she's done a minute. I'm quite liking this new beat now. You see my screen, I'm just like moseying across it, shaking the shoulders. Thirty seconds to go. Five seconds. And relax for thirty seconds. Wrong bit, right. Just ignore that for a sec. Hmm. Okay. We'll see what happens. And we're ready to go again. Three, two, one, off you go. Best effort.
Now, you should be really working your glutes and almost might need to put yourself back in the seat a tiny bit to get enough force. Halfway through, got another minute. Lovely. And this should be hard work, but it's not like puffing and panting and gasping. But you can feel it in your legs. Your legs should be building up fatigue. Fifteen seconds, that's all we've got left. Three, two, one, stop. But not literally. Keep your legs moving, resistance off, have a drink. And then we've just got time for a sting in the tail. All right, looking good. So we're going to go back to those 30 second hard, 30 second easy that we did initially. And I think we'll just do three. Icing on the cake. So obviously it's up to you. If you feel you've worked really hard and then you can start your warm down. But if you feel you've still got a little bit left in you, Liz has loved it so much she's disappeared. We'll, um, we'll just do 30 seconds. So going from three, two, one, now. Fast cadence, working pretty hard. Fifteen gone, only fifteen left. Well, less now. Five left. Three, two, one. 30 seconds easy. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Thirty seconds hard again. Hi, right, Steve. Going for it. The last little bit. Twenty left. Well done. Hang in there. 10 left, three, two, one, 30 seconds easy. We're coming up for our very last one. This is your last 30 seconds of hard work of the session. We're on warm down after that. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Final effort. Fantastic. Brilliant. Fifteen left. Three, two, one, relax. 
Awesome job, well done. As is customary, need to now cool down. Let's take the resistance off, keep the legs spinning, have a drink, make yourself feel comfortable. Lovely. If you're watching this on video later, please spend at least five minutes riding your bike nice and gently and at that point we'll finish recording